वेलकम टू द लेटेस्ट अपडेट प्रोग्राम द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव यूज ऑफ बेनामी लॉ डिक्लेयर्ड अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रिसेंटली द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन वन ऑफ इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजन डिक्लेयर्ड सेक्शन थ्री टू ऑफ द बेनामी ट्रांजेक्शन प्रोहिबिशन एक्ट नाइनटीन एटी एट अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ बींग क्लियरली आर्बिट्ररी अकॉर्डिंगली सेक्शन थ्री टू ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन एक्ट वॉज ऑल्सो हेल्ड टू बी अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल as it was violative of article 21 of the constitution the apex court said that the 2016 amendment to the act cannot be implemented retrospectively along with this the court quashed the provision of 3 years imprisonment for benami property the decision comes on the center's appeal challenging the calcutta high court's 2019 decision which ruled against the retrospective nature of the law key points of the decision are actions taken under the benami act between september 1988 and october 2016 were quashed section 32 of the 1988 unamended act is unconstitutional as being explicitly arbitrary right to confiscate property will not be applicable retrospectively pre amendment cases will not be dealt with under the 2016 act and in december 2019 The Calcutta High Court had ruled against the retrospective nature of the law. Now information about the Benami Act. The Act of Benami Transactions Prohibition Act 1988 restricts Benami transactions and the right of recovery of property being Benami. It defines a Benami transaction as a transaction where a property is held or transferred by a person but has been provided or paid for by another person. It prohibits Benami transactions and provides for confiscation of Benami properties. Section three two provides for imprisonment of three years or fine or both for those indulging in any transaction. This act has been amended by the Benami Transactions Prohibition Amendment Act, twenty sixteen.